what's going on everybody welcome back to another video of what i hope it's going to be an exciting one for you guys to watch it's kind of an exciting one for me to make i am back here after my last video showing you guys vincent town mill pond and i am back here today to film another first that's right that's the kayak fish my first time ever kayak fishing and I'm gonna take this camera along with me. Hopefully catch at least one fish, that's the goal. One fish, a couple more would be nice. I don't know what's in here. So we're gonna find out. But this is only the second time I've actually had my kayak out. The first time I didn't take any fishing equipment with me. I wanted to just bare bones, get out there, get a feel for the, uh, the kayak, play around with the rudder system, mess around with, shifting my weight around all that all that stuff that you want to kind of learn before you're actually out there trying to fish and reach around and do things on your kayak so I chose this place uh, mainly for a reason I was just here so I'm a little bit familiar with the with the area and I figured it wasn't a very highly kayak fished water so uh, and obviously no larger boats and vessels are going to be in this pond so I figured this is a great place to come. There wouldn't be a lot of people here. It's early in the morning. It's supposed to get up to 59 degrees today, I believe. Um, we'll check the water temperature. I have a little cheap gadget I bought. I'm gonna play with that today as well. And uh, here we go. We're gonna get it unloaded. We're gonna get in the water. And uh, I'm gonna have a good time. Come on with me. bit of excitement a little rushing could have been worse than it was all right uh, guys here we go I got her all situated here ready to push off um, definitely a little nervous to be honest with you uh, one I probably brought too much stuff uh, I brought my whole thing of soft plastics probably could have just went through and pulled about five or six packs out but I didn't want them like loosely laying in the, in the crate anywhere and being thrown all around or dropped in the water anyway either so just brought the whole plastic container it fit in the crate you can see there um, probably wonder why I brought the four poles seems a little excessive but I do have them I have a spinner on one I have a quick connect on one for some uh, crankbaits or some um, lipless cranks or some jerk baits that I have one set up for a Texas rig one set up for a Senko. I don't want to be trying to like tie off tie on so just bringing the four poles that's what it's set up to bring anyway and uh, here we go we're gonna push off it's uh, a very sunny it's supposed to be the sunniest today on the forecast between 8 and 11 then it's gonna cloudy up a little bit probably no wind though four mile an hour wind <laughs> so that's good I'm already the hats already gone the sweatshirts gonna be gone soon the pants are already gone I'm down to the down to the shorts so let's get this thing in the water let's start having some fun going on <sighs> so I made it around the bend there we're out on the water <sighs> could you tell and I uh, just thought I'd take a minute brought my coffee because it's running down my face I got a bagel totally no wind I stopped paddling a couple minutes ago and I've barely moved I've just rotated a little bit trying to keep the Sun behind me for now as I get some things set up here um, on the kayak I had a fish finder there I a fish finder I had the uh, rod holder there uh, that I wanted to figure out where to put put that so it wasn't in my way um, I got a little bagel here I'm munching on and uh, I, I bought a cheap fish finder uh, it's a it's a lucky fish finder um, I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna actually show you guys it's not really part of the video here 
Um, but I, I definitely need to get something with a front mount. I brought this, which which is like a clamp, and you can hook up a phone. It can clamp the fish finder. Um, I think it will work perfectly. However, there's not really anywhere that I can clamp this down. Um, besides maybe like the handles here on the sides and that it will definitely be in my way it definitely needs to be up in front of me here so if i can eventually get it mounted i want something nice and high <laughs> something around here maybe even a little farther up um so i can i can take video uh and then i can have the fish finder here so i have i have there's some mounting i just got to get a rail and then something i can clip this onto um so pretty much what I'm going to do with the fish finder, instead of dropping it down out of the hole in the front up there where I can drop the transducer, I'm just going to drop it off to the side. And I know this fish finder is cheap and it's not, the, the aspect of it showing me fish, I'm not really, my expectations are pretty low, but more importantly, I got it because I wanted to know the depth of the water and uh, the temperature. And I hear this is very good for that not so much fish it picks up a lot more it, it'll show you fish when there's not fish it'll it'll detect a twig going by um you can set it for like larger objects that it'll, it'll only send you info if it's a larger object but uh we're going to play around with that a little bit off camera today and uh like i said just looking forward to just the depth finder uh portion of it as well as um the water temperature um so that's cool i've spooked a couple fish on my way out here that's a good sign so uh, for now, I'm just going to kind of relax, um, finish my coffee, enjoy the peaceful nature, take a couple breaths, and uh, play with this fish finder for a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to get on it. All right, I just thought I'd quickly show you this, guys. I'm kind of impressed so far. I haven't picked up any fish, uh, which is a good sign that the fact that this thing isn't just picking up everything, um, but a bad sign the fact that I haven't picked up the fish. But I've only rode uh, across one time. But... Uh, Here's the depth that I'm at right now. I actually haven't gotten any higher than 4.1, which is crazy. I'm kind of in the middle of this thing. thought it would be at least 7 feet out here. but um, I used my oar, and uh, it was pretty much exact on 3 feet. I rolled in, uh, uh, paddled in closer to the shore, and it started getting less. Once you get below 2 feet, it seems to like shut itself off, which is fine. It's the, And you can actually see as, you, as I was coming in, um, it would change and it got a lot closer to the top over here on the side. It shows you like there's that three feet distance, 54.5 Fahrenheit, uh, my water temperature. And I'm pretty impressed. One thing that I did do, uh, I, uh, well, there's sensitivity. So I lowered the sensitivity. I don't know, um, where exactly that should be. I'll have to mess with that a little bit. If it's not showing any fish for like an hour or something, I'll have to change it. But what I did was I actually ran my paddle underneath. I don't know if I can see if I can do it again real quick for you guys. So watch this. I'll run my paddle. I'll try to get my paddle to go underneath the transducer. There it is. See that? So it picked up. I mean, it picked up the paddle like immediately. And it's like it showed it how it was like near the top of the water, which was cool. And it didn't register it as a fish. So I'm pretty impressed on that. I was worried like I'd run my paddle underneath this thing and uh, it would it would pick it up as a fish. But it just picked it up as a clump. And at one point, I must have went over some, some sort of stump because it showed right here that was like a big like lump that came up off the ground which was pretty cool how's it going everyone i know it's only been a couple seconds for you but it's been about an hour for me and uh let me tell you i am learning a lot in this first hour in fact i think i'm going to end up putting out a video i watched a ton of videos uh like first time kayak fishing videos and a lot of this stuff was just like a lot of stuff just kind of goes over the gear <coughs> what's important to have <coughs> things you should do to prep there's some things out there guys i'll tell you what i have a lot more respect for kayak fishers after this first hour and a half it is not easy um to deal with uh, some things that are out there and i'm, I'm gonna like i said i'm gonna make a, a completely separate video talking about some of the things i have and, and stuff that i think would help uh me being a little more prepared for um just knowing uh if i would have seen videos of this before before today but i'm having a great time I am so sore already. Something else I'll probably talk about in a different video. Um, you don't realize the the not the not the kayaking, the, not the rowing muscles. Just throwing the poles is just different angles. Um, it's kind of crazy. Uh, you, look at the mess I have. <laughs> I have such a mess here in the back. Um, I kind of I pulled ashore mainly 
uh, to sort of like uh, deal with that and um, you don't realize how much stuff you end up kind of like dropping in front of you and under your legs because you're trying to just grab stuff from the back and you don't need this anymore so you set it down you set this down it was, so I had a bunch of stuff kind of there um, so I just kind of wanted to like readjust four poles first time out definitely not needed I pretty much only been throwing the Cinco and a spinner bait I have switch the spinner bait um i threw a texas rig for a few minutes uh but one thing the fish finder definitely was picking up fish but a lot of it was on the bottom which is why i switched to the cinco because most of the stuff i brought was like mid mid water range like a foot two foot depth so uh i switched did switch to the cinco i only tried the, the the actually my homemade green pumpkin so i might switch to maybe a cinnamon I might try a white i think i'm only going to probably fish Maybe some spinners and some Cinco's for the day. I might throw a chatterbait on the spinning pole. Um, that's about it. But I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take five. I'm gonna get this thing a little more organized. I had such a hard time trying to retrieve my uh, suntan lotion from the crate. Small things in the crate, almost impossible to reach around and grab and see. Um, I got a muscle cramp. I think mainly from just having to turn around so many times to try to like fish and uh, you know grab reach into my crate and try to find something because you can't turn around enough to really see what you're doing so uh, that'll be in, that's another suggestion there maybe easier in certain kayaks um, and uh, there you go so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break again like I say clean this up and I'm gonna get back out on, on the water well everyone I'm headed back in four hours not one bite would have been nice my goal was one fish that's all i wanted was one fish um tried everything cinco's uh ned rig at the end swim jigs finesse jigs uh spinners small spinners big spinners all different colors um up and down the main area um Tried a ton, tried a ton of everything, and I uh, just didn't have any luck. <laughs> but uh, it was fun, other than some of the learning experiences that I had. Uh, by the end of the day, I kind of realized the best bet is just kind of paddle myself up, get in a good position, use my rudder to kind of make my way. Um, kind of would paddle back this way and then just use my rudder, cast off to the side. Every once in a while, I would cast out to the middle like I said there's not really a middle the middle is about three and a half feet deep uh, ran into one other guy who came back from the the far end he was fishing not a bite he said he actually got here about 6 a.m. Um, he was heading in nothing nothing happening uh, happy with the fish finder for sure it was definitely picking up things it seemed like when I got closer like there's a tree here a little lay down tree here See, when, when I got up in there, it definitely was picking up some more uh, some more fish, or which could, honestly, guys, have just been turtles. I mean, it's insane, the turtles here. I, I, I've seen a lot of turtles in places, but every log, guys, every, every log has a minimum of six turtles on it, okay? The one that I had just showed you, it must have been... 40 there's logs over there i'm looking at right now there's got to be 30 turtles over there so you know when i got closer they would go on the water i would be kind of moving along if i was going slow and not really disturbing the water i would see their heads pop up here and there so i feel like most of the fish that was being detected was when i got closer to those those down trees was probably turtles um didn't see like fish activity got real close to the banks a couple of times and I didn't see, I didn't really see any like small bait fish or anything swimming up. Uh, visibility is probably a foot, foot and a half. Uh, so I didn't see, I didn't see anything small swimming when I got up close to the banks. Um, I walked the bank earlier when I put my boat on the shore. I didn't see anything. So we struck out here. Um, definitely probably not a spot I'm going to return to the fact that it's a little bit smaller than I thought for the kayak um, and once you got really once I got kind of like whoop, once I got a little bit past sort of this area here it was just super shallow super shallow so you really only had 
from like here back. If you guys watched my last video where I talked about this pond, <coughs> uh, you'll know that you could only, right about where that white house is back there, you could only see to that point from where you could bank fish. So it is twice the size, if not three times the size on the other side, but no luck. I still think probably the best bet is just to bank fish on the bottom part of the dam over there or near the dam. So I'm, I'm gonna head in, in this video. I wish it was a little more exciting for you guys than what you got to see, but it was, a, uh, it was definitely a learning trip and I'm gonna probably put another video out talking about some things that I learned on this trip for sure. So look forward to that. If you're thinking about getting a kayak and starting to kayak fish, I think that's going to be a helpful video for you. And uh, that's it. I'm getting back on shore. I got another trip planned for a couple of days. I'll more than likely film that one and hope it, it's a little better because the temperature is going to go from, uh, it ended up only being 56 today was the high that, that my phone was telling me. And the wind picked up. You can see the ripples here. So I was I had a couple nice gusts of wind. I do have my t-shirt on, but it's chilly. The sun has pretty much been behind clouds most of the day, peaks out here and there, but uh, it's supposed to go up from 58 to like 75 in two days, so I will uh, going to be out that day, and until then, go fishing. Mm -hmm.